Hi, this tutorial is just a brief run through of planning and reviewing your answers in the functional skills maths test. Uh, so what's been introduced is a set of questions that basically ask you to plan your answer before you actually complete the task and then once you've completed the task just to review that and write down things like um, how you find it, how you found it went, uh, what would have made it easier, what made it more difficult and um, what information you could have been provided with that would have made it easier to complete as well. Um, so the first thing that we want to go through is planning your answer. Now with planning your answer there is a example here. So as you can see there are no calculations to do in this question. So when in planning your answer, you shouldn't be using a calculator or completing any calculations whatsoever. It's basically just a list of how you are going to complete the task. So there are a couple of ways to complete it. Um, I would say if you were using a computer to complete your test, then just go for a list. It's probably the easiest and most practical way to complete this task. Um, if you are using a if you are taking a paper-based test, test, then you can actually um, use a flow chart, as I've written here, um, a spider diagram or a mind map, if that makes things easier for you. But generally, if you're completing on a computer, a list is fine. So you can see here this person on the sample paper has just said what they're going to do in terms of reading through, and then the plan here of comparing costs and, and things like that. So there's generally three to four marks that you'll get for completing this task. Um, and they do include marks for what kind of plan you've done. So if you've done a list, that's fine. Um, numbered points or lettered in this case. And whether they follow a sequential order. So if you've got things in the right order. So for example, if you're working out costs um, and then you need to apply a discount, maybe the first thing that you would do as point one would be to work out the cost and then subsequent to that, you would then work out the discount. So that's planning your answer. It's fairly straightforward. So just to emphasize again, in that section, when you're planning an answer, you do not need to do any calculations. In reviewing your answer, you'll see in some test papers, you'll get this. And this is um, an image that's meant to help you review your answers and, and things to think about. Um, reviewing your work and making appropriate comments is important. And these are some of those comments that are incorrect or correct, but maybe unqualified and you won't get the mark for them. So as you can see here, it's things like my plan worked well, um, my methods worked well. It's basically giving your opinion, but not really explaining how and why. Um, and those would be unqualified and you won't get the marks for them. Uh, just to give you an example of some, some answers that you will get marks for here. So you can put things like, my plan helped me work out the time I needed to fill with performances. Um, so basically, how, your, how well your plan worked and then why it worked. Um, again here, my answers are sensible and I managed to fit my performances into 55 minutes. So it's basically justifying why your plan worked and how effective it was. Um, things you found difficult is always a good one to put in. So uh, I find it difficult here to to do calculations with minutes and seconds. Um, so that's always a good point to use is what you found difficult and what would have helped you um, in completing the task. Also, what would be more helpful next time? So um, it would be helpful to know how much, time I, how much time I would need to set and clear up. And next time I would use performance times to work, to work out start and finish times. So obviously that's specific to this particular task but the general reasoning is if you give an answer as to how your plan worked and if you can justify that 
within the task and how you've completed it, you will receive the marks for that. So that's just the importance of planning and reviewing your answers. And just to remember that there needs to be, there doesn't need to be any calculations to be going on in those answers.